Picture this, you've just saved up enough money to buy yourself a car. But that wouldn't be an upgrade enough for you to be happy. So let me just suggest this, instead of upgrading your car, you upgrade your car. Still don't get it? This is a 2021 Polo 1 liter TSI. But it is unlike anything you've ever seen. Welcome to the Drivers Hub, my name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is pretty much the craziest spec polo I've ever seen in my life. Most of the money spent has been on the outside. To make sure that you know, this is an expensive bit of kit. Let's start from the rear. You've got this Maxton rear diffuser which looks super yummy with a custom set of exhausts that says send nudes, quite funny. A Q2 inspired uh, tinted tail light and from the side you can see we've got Lenzo Project D rims that are 17 inches wrapped around Michelin Pilot Sport 4s which are super grippy. As you can see the stance has been lowered from lowering springs and when you move to the front it the ball game just gets to another level because this is a real carbon fiber hood. Along with that you get these carbon fiber eyelids on top of these GTI inspired headlamps which make the car look super mean. You've also got the R-line grille alongside with a WRC bumper. Really really yummy. Continuing with the carbon theme, ooh, that's light. You get a BMC CDA, which is a carbon dynamic airbox. You also get a forged blow off valve and a full turbo back system. Along with that, of course, this is TDH. So this is a stage two car. It comes with a stage two E-Tuners India tune, which is quite quirky because it's not a pops and bangs tune. It's a pops and fire tune. Yeah, this thing spits flames. Hold up, have you checked out our website? TheDriversUp.com is live now with a new segment called TDH Classifieds where you can list your exotic, performance or even project car and target the right audience. Even if you are in the market to buy yourself a nice car of your dreams, something like this. A first of its kind Skoda VRS 245 with an all-wheel drive system or maybe something more subtle like this Punto Abarth with a Stage 1 Plus and a lot of goodies. So head on forward to TDH Classifieds and get the car of your dreams. This one is one of those projects where no corners were cut and the owner had a clear idea of his vision with the car. Even the interior is something very special with almost everything that was stock changed to either carbon fiber or Alcantara. The seats have been changed to complete Alcantara with blue stitching. The trim pieces all around have been switched to real carbon fiber pieces. The steering is a GTI wheel with Alcantara grips and forged carbon fiber inserts and the owner was so invested in the detail that even the headliner of the car was converted to Alcantara. And the results are, are addictive. I'm in love with this car. To be honest, it has its own identity now because the wheels have been upsized, the suspension has been lowered and now it just feels so much more ready and just so much more playful and it is very addictive and I, for one, I've had quite a lot of experience with Apollo. I've owned Apollo, Soham's owned Apollo, we've worked on Apollo and I gotta commend the workmanship in this car because everything feels nice, everything feels precise, nothing is rattling and it looks the piece. It looks so nice all the way from the outside to the inside and you feel like you're driving a very special car. Now, that might not be all that it is because this is quite stiff, it is they're quite heavy to steer now that the wheels have been upsized because you've got more weight and it is ridiculously sp stiff specifically because your tires have a lower profile now so going through bumps going through rougher patches of the street you do feel it now you might have heard us kissing this one liter TSI's bottom in every single video that we feature it but that is because of its potential and today I have the opportunity to show you guys what it is all about because now on its stage 2 setup pushes 150 bhp out of a 1 liter engine which is like that small god knows what has happened inside this 3 cylinder but 
I can tell you that the stage 2 1.2 4 pot uh, that we had at home was 140 horsepower max. This is 150 bhp with a cylinder less and that is actually quite impressive because this is a dual overhead cam engine and all of that power just comes to you in every part of the rev band. The mid range is just so strong and you just love playing with it. Plus the blow off valve makes it nice and dramatic which adds to the experience of just driving something that requires you to be careful in every bump, be careful while driving it and it's just a very nice place to be. I'm falling in love with this car and I'm quite regretting that I have sold mine because I would have loved to do this to my car. Now the gearbox in the 1 litre TSI is a torque converter and it does its job beautifully. In fact, compared to the DQ200 that was available in the 1.2 litre TSI, that this gearbox is more tolerant and you can actually punch out much more power through this gearbox compared to the DQ200 because that was rated at 250 newton meters of torque. Go anything above that, well, you're out of luck. However, with this torque converter, you can go further than that. And that's why this car has much more than 250 newton meters of torque. And that's why it is more reliable to have the torque converter and be able to play around with it than to have a DQ200 and be limited to it. But you do miss that snappiness and responsiveness of the DSG because there's nothing that beats two clutches. The reaction speed might be I mean, much faster than us humans in this torque converter, but the, no, the difference is so noticeable where when you're pushing the car, the latency of gear changes is very well felt, but I mean, it does its job very well. However, the owner of this car has chosen to go for the torque converter because I mean, Mumbai traffic, you're going to be bumper to bumper most of the time. Who wants to be using their left leg? But if you've got space, I'd suggest get a manual one liter TSI and your left foot is gonna thank you for it. Almost each and every possible component on this car has been changed or upgraded, with the brakes coming from an Audi S1 which have bigger calipers, bigger rotors and all around better stopping power, even the suspension in its ultra stiff setting which totally indicated that this is a full-on weekend machine. The Polo is a beautiful blank canvas and this specific build is the perfect example of what all you can do to the car. But it comes with a price and that is 11 lakh rupees over the price of the car. And on that bombshell, thank you so much for watching. This is your boy Bhavneet. See you in the next one.